Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy Contex here bringing you another video. This is the uh, SND Strats and God Spots video I said I was going to be posting. So let's get right to it. On offense, I use subs and snipers on this map. You can challenge the person who's going to be church from right here with a sniper. If you're feeling gutsy, you can just peek it like that. You can jump on this back end where you can't get seen yet and peek across. You just count if you see anyone on the cross. As far as hitting bomb sites, what I like to do here. Oh. As you guys see it on my first video, I think I come here and I just peek the corner. If there's someone there, I take them out and then we push through right away. Sometimes the teams like to have a kid sitting right here, but I normally see them. Peeking into the B bomb site. You can do it from right here. So even if you have an AR, you can get right. Watch the ammo right there. With any gun, and you can challenge if they're on site. Running out. Finish this. And yeah, I avoid sniping from up there. So that's what we do on an A offense hit. And if you get the bomb down, you can either stay on your side of the map or push out. It depends what intel you get. You can also play egg glitching on this. And yeah. Guy yeah, Fountain. So that's how we play an A hit. Kind of just straightforward, you would just hit it and play for a first blood if you're a sniper. Alright, so now we're going to move on to playing defense from that A side. So that's offense from the A side, now we'll do D. Alright, let's go. I always avoid the mainstream spot so I don't snipe from top church. If I want to snipe the person over there, I get up here. And I go for that shot. Or if you're not confident in the strafe, you can just jump from right here. It's a really good sniper spot. Not a lot of people use it. As far as playing the bomb site, when I do play A, I usually come here, I throw a trophy, and I head glitch back of the bomb. And if they flood through, I beam them. If you know they're B, then you can rush through here and try to get a flank going. And then once again, if you do hear word that they're on the B-bomb and you know your mid-map is cleared, you can have a guy come up here and challenge. The B-hold is pretty easy. From here, you can do the same thing. You can snipe over to see if anyone's crossing mid and you can get that shot right there. You can throw a nade from right here over. And I'll show you guys where that nade lands. If you just double jump straight up in the air, that nade will hit right here or right here in this area depending on exactly where you throw it so if you kn do know there's a guy there and he might be pushing just throw the nade uh do i have nades on the class to show you guys no, i don't i usually don't run the nades as you run the trophies on my team but yeah that's basically defense on a in a nutshell have guys play it or push up and stay back on your side of the map never overextend unless you're flanking because you know they're all at b Switching operation ready for so next up on the list is going to be playing A, or playing B, my bad. Delay. Playing B is what most teams do, it's the most common hit. We always send one guy mid-map when we hit B and the three of us push it out like this. One of us goes island, I throw a trophy down, and I usually snipe it, the cross. The guy mid will let us know if anyone is coming from the other side of B into the room. And then if they're hitting us, you always want to throw your trophies down because they will throw like six stuns and flashes at you. So unless everyone on your team has attack, you got to throw your trophy systems down. A lot of times they're not going to push you. They're going to play it back here. So that's what your guy that goes island is for. Whenever I get my specialist, that's really important because we always hit B. So I use my overdrive and I'll typically get right here before they even come across. So if they rush, sometimes I just automatically jump out and challenge. And I get a, a two piece or something. Once you get the bomb down, we always have one person head glitching bomb. The bomb is down. You have a person head glitching it. You have a person watching the back from right here or wherever they want to watch it. They got to watch those two angles. And then a person watching the front. I usually watch it from up here. Pretty confident if I get pushed, I usually win the gunfight. So yeah, one person watching the back, one person watching that way. Person head glitching bomb, and if you have all four people alive, the last guy is more of a roamer. He plays mid as a safety blanket, kinda. So yeah, that's your setup on B. 
also once you if you only have one trophy on your team and it stays alive take the trophy from the b lane and put it inside the room in case they try to use grenades to kill the person that had glitching bomb so now let's move on to a uh, defense on b which I think is probably the easiest thing to do on this map, to be completely honest with you. You come across, you throw all your concussions and stuff right over there, or over the top if you got all your thruster at that time. And I usually have an M8, and I start pre-aiming right as I come across. I throw two stuns, and I'll start pre-aiming. Sometimes I peek right there, and then sometimes I peek the other side of the wall. If I know there's a guy there, I never go island. I just have someone else on my team come here, but they never actually push it. They kind of just peek it and come back to see if they see anything. Yeah, it's really me as the main lane. This is the only time I use a AR on this map is when I'm out here and I'm pre-aiming that and that. You want to have a guy slide into B from mid, which is what I do the other rounds. I'm either AR with a on the B lane or from our spawn, I'll come here and I'll just slide around and right off the beginning of the round, I'll slide and I'll get in here. In that case, I'd have two teammates watching my B side. I play head glitch on the bomb. And we have a guy sit A in this corner that some people like to check. But if they're not checking this corner or they're all hitting, then you'll have that person play here. So he can watch if they come up these steps. And if he comes up those steps, I'll kill him. I don't have to worry about my back because my teammates got it. So I just throw down a trophy and I watch this. My teammates got my back and I got someone calling the cross. And that's basically how you play Infection SND in a nutshell. Obviously the situations dictate what you're going to do. But Get that's basically round. it. Second half of this video is going to be SND on Stronghold, so stay tuned. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Context bringing you the second half of the video. This is the uh, strats and spots on Stronghold. Uh, first thing we're going to do is hit the A bomb site from offense. We're going to do A and B this time around. The first thing you can do is you can check this from a multiple places. I usually come right out of the spawn and snipe this side of the head glitch. Also, if they go up there, I can catch them on my thermal. That's what I typically do if I'm sniping and we're playing it slow. Most people come up here, but I find that pretty risky. If we're hitting bombs, I'll usually check. And if no one's there, we automatically play three guys at A. And we'll have one person go down low and stop right about here. He'll just check, check, and then we'll have two people go up top. And there's usually a guy up here, so we get into an engagement, and regardless if we win or don't, we send two guys up here for that reason, so we can trade it, so it's at least a 3v3. Then we have a guy up here and a guy bottom. The guy bottom would push out a little bit more, and this would be the person with the same thing. I usually go like this. Hope he's not in that corner, because I honestly never check it. I kind of just wall run in, and I automatically check everything up here. If I don't see anyone right away, I tell the person down low that they are clear to push, and they come up. And we try to get bombed down. The person, the reason we send three here is because we have one person watch the flank. The person watching the flank usually just stays somewhere back here. Make sure we're not getting flanked. And then once we get the bomb down, we have a person sit downstairs by the couches. A person up here who's just in the back really. This is usually me. And a person who tries to push out back here. Whether it's red car or orange car, we try to get control back here somehow. And that's basically our setup for A. Just try to take control of mansion is the best advice I can give you. Do whatever you have to do to take control of mansion because it honestly dictates who wins the map. When we go B, I typically run the bomb and I put away the sniper that round. I'll have somebody snipe just over me to make sure no one's there. And we'll have one person come up here and go up top right away. And then me and someone else will just go mid-map and we'll slide in and we'll just challenge right away. If you're going A, we typically play it slow, but on our B hits, the occasional B hit, I'll probably just use overdrive if I have it. And we'll come in here and automatically challenge to get bombed down. Once you get bombed down, you can see it from over there, from half wall if you plant it on this side. And you always want to plant it on this side regardless for the most part, because if you have your guy alive mansion, he can just come over and check it. Yeah, we send two to the hill, one person to come here and go top, and then one person is always watching our flank. My team typically doesn't go the, uh, the bunker side, unless we really need to switch it up because we're being predictable, so that's how we play offense. We 
took a beating, but we're not done yet. Bring it. Nothing too hard about it. You can four hit bunker, maybe occasionally to throw a team off every couple of games, but it is pretty risky because you're giving up the rest of the map. Now a defense, which I love playing on this map. First thing I'm going to show you guys is this six snipe you can hit right here. You go like that. I might have been a little off right there, but I've hit a person through these trees before. Honestly, it's more for just information off the break if you can catch someone going on the cross. Sometimes I like pushing out here right away and challenging with a sniper, but it doesn't usually happen. If I do ever come in here, I'm playing this corner right here, but I rarely play in bunker. Usually our team setup is... Let me show you guys my spot. Off the break, after I snipe, I come here. And this is where I set. I throw my trophy system down somewhere. And if they hit B really hard, and that's where I'm there for. We always have a person playing statue, usually. Someone of an M8. And they'll watch statue. Or they'll maneuver themselves. Sometimes they play back here. Where they can watch bunker. We always have one set of eyes on bunker. I'm by the B bomb. And then we have one sit top mansion, one sit bottom mansion. Usually one right here. To call the wall run. And from B, I can hear if someone jumps up top. So I'll let the person up here know. And then we have a person who usually plays head glitching the bomb. Or like right over here. Sometimes I switch it up. And I come right here. So I can call the cross to B. And I can hear him if they wall run behind me. And you can also watch the wall run from here if you didn't know. That's why sometimes players of M8s, they sit right here. So they can beam people off head glitches if they see them over there. And they can see people that hit the wall run. But as a sub player on SND, I like to play right here. Some rounds, when we know that they're going to go bunker or mid-map, I automatically push out right here, right off the break. And if I don't see anyone, I go for the quick flank and try to get behind them. But most kids play A. If they do quad hit bunker and my teammate calls it out, then I'll go from right here. I'll automatically go help them out and engage. I usually don't wait. And yeah, your guys at Mansion are really the most important people though, because if they die and the other team gets Mansion control, it's really hard to take back. So sometimes teams stack 3 Mansion and they give something up because it's just that important. And that's basically defense on this map in a nutshell. We don't hit anything. You should, you really shouldn't cross a 50 yard point on the map really, like the halfway point. Just stay really defensive and just keep control of the mansion and you'll basically win every round of defense if you guys are trading efficiently. So yeah. Next video on my channel will be a uh, evac uplink bots and routes you can throw the ball from and stuff. So thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it and learned something, like, comment, and subscribe. And contact. Sign it out. Nice work.